them, it's difficult to jump. Again, this fence, you will most likely see Leopoldo use it somewhere far away on a short on a day with a short time allowed that forces you to canter quite fast to it. And this fence does come down a lot. It does not have a flat cup, but because the ball is short, it's a much lighter material. It's not as heavy uh, as because of the length. And the horses don't like to jump in the middle of this. This is narrow. Again. Whenever a fence gets difficult, like the blue and everything, a horse intends to tighten himself off the ground, just sort of holds his breath, as we call it in, in our sport. And this is where a horse will get timid and not reach the height that you need to clear this fence. So I, I, you know, I, I think every rider will tell you, when you turn the corner to a skinny fence, we, we always hold our breath ourselves and like, oh, it's coming. And then we sort of leave the ground and we're like, hope everything's okay. There's not a lot we can do about it, to be honest. We give the horse the proper distance. We try to be as far away as we can to leave the, get the room to jump the fence. And you'll see some riders sometimes chipping it, which means the horse will add an extra stride just because they were trying to stay so far from it. And then the horse sees all the space in front of them. You don't want to get close to this fence. Um, we do rehearse it at home a lot so the horses get used to jump in a, in a, in a narrow space. And obviously, we do this decoration here, which is so close to the horses when they leave the ground. So the horses want to move left. They don't have Ladies a good chance to see Ladies and gentlemen, as part of the first of the screaming of the horse. And we are off, really proud quickly off the turn, we're faced with this fence. This is the first time I've seen a skinny in this ring where it is 